Hey, do you like tracer units? I'm saying, of course you do. But you don't want to spend the money on tracer units. They're overcomplicated and don't really give you a clear instruction of how they actually work. Well, here's where this comes into play because our friends over at T238.net have actually helped work with us to help hook you guys up with not only some great deals, but also even better trace units. So, uh, be it, of course, from, say, the most cyberpunk of cyberpunk. Or even the most tactical of tactical rifles. T238.net has got what you're looking for. And aside from tracer units, they also make high-powered motors, be they high-speed, high-torque, or even anything in between. For V2s, V3s, they even have trigger units that are easy to install and just do a lot of awesome things. And the best part is, they have components that prevent them from overheating. And it's not just for airsoft. No, they also make it for gel ball and nerf. Meaning that if your country does not allow you to have the coolness that is airsoft, then at least you have something for nerf and gel ball. So, go down to the link down below and use the coupon code AirsoftAl and you'll get some awesome stuff and uh, even better stuff, be they discount codes or, of course, free shipping. But if you use the link down below, then uh, you'll be helping us out here on the channel. So please, go down there to the link down below, use that referral link, and get some really awesome stuff. I mean this, folks. T238 has never steered me wrong, isn't going to steer you wrong. They are simple, easy to use, and easy to understand, and they're reliable. So, what are you waiting for? Go down there right now at t238.net link down below and use coupon code AirsoftAl and get some good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, Mass Effect Arcs, the slice of life arc, has just ended. We are now on the precipice of the beginning of the games. So let me break it down for you. So basically the slice of life is more or less just kind of seeing how the world, how the galaxy is going now with the galactic curtain up. Most of it of course being the fact of there are spies on the other side and we just see how Shepard is doing. And the fact of her father is worse than... He's the, he's the combination of Major Hughes and Blark from... He, he literally is the, he, the ultimate definition of not just a doting father, but a helicopter parent. Like, holy sweet Jesus H. Christ. Garrus Vakarian, of course, is a absolute adorable cinnamon bun of a nerd! Oh, nerd! I think they're talking about us. No way. Oh no! Nerds! 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 Come on, Lewis, let's go. It is actually kind of fun. And they do have a relationship. And I like that. Uh, we do see, of course, others. Get, um, Rex's son is of course boy and is being to is, is brought under Odin's guise of uh, <clears throat> you know that sort of thing the ta uh, Liara is about to be turned to Indiana Jones space version of Indiana Jones mixed with Laura Croft and I absolutely love it and uh, and and John Shepard the Systems Alliance Shepard is of course a mix of Hawkins from Treasure Planet and Captain Kirk from the reboot of the Star Trek film. The 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 first reboot Star Trek film, not the the uh, it, it, anyway anyway. 
And I know it's a little sense, though. This is actually really, really good. Uh, the big thing is Tally. Good girl Tally. We know Tally is, of course, a quarrying engineer, very good at tech, an expert on the gaff. But in this universe, this timeline, she is a gaming gremlin who is addicted to that plastic crack that we know as board games and miniature gaming. Because in the most literal sense, she's on her bike, about to go off over here to kind of, you know, get something. You know, just, just going home from school only to see the gaming store happens to have a sale going on. And her bank account is screaming at her, For the love of God, woman! Stop! You won't have any money left! And thank God her mother actually messaged her, telling her that, Hey, you know, dinner's ready, get your ass home. And she does get her ass home only for us to see that when the lights are switched, her room goes from a simple, plain, Spartan-like setup to a absolute gaming gremlin haven. With her gaming setup, RGBs, a table over here for painting and making miniatures. And oh my god, I love it! And then, and then, oh, it gets so much better. Because, of course, Samara is literally seen as a holy mother. Her daughter is now doing some crazy ass shit, who I'm not going to spoil much because you guys gonna want to read this yourself. Because believe me, this is getting good. This shit is getting good. But the big one is when we finally get to the culmination of the lead up to the main games themselves. But before I say that, I will say this: that Saren kind of needs some fucking therapy. Has uh, you see, he's kind of doing some stuff that's kind of uh. <laughs> um, Saren, Saren, um, would you like to go and get some therapy? Talk to a doctor? You know, not go on a murderous fucking vendetta? What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Saren, the most you ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know, I couldn't say. Call it. Call it, yes. For a whole lot. Just call it. Well, we need to know what we're calling it for here. You need to call it. I can't call it for you. Well, it wouldn't be fair. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. Well, look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything, call it. Please? Just saying, go talk to a doctor. Go to a doctor. Just saying, okay, go, 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 talk, to, go talk to a shrink, okay? You do not need to go on a fucking revenge murder. Rampage, okay? Okay! You don't have to do this. People always say the same thing. What do they say? They say, you don't have to do this. You don't. It's a sink! But anyway, the final lead-up, of course, is the fact of... Shepard, of course, does get in trouble, finally. In that rebellious phase. And, uh, basically does the opening of fucking Cyberpunk for the Street Kid. Going to steal a fancy-ass car, only to be caught, put in jail. And her father attempts to basically try and get her out of trouble, only for Saren over here to basically clear his throat, reminding him that he's the Sky Marshal. He can't exactly abuse that power. And when Shepard tries to use that adorable daughter face, again, Uncle Saren there to basically keep her father on the right track and not abuse that power to keep her out of jail because you know a fine citizen has to do has to face the crimes the consequences and she basically gets her ass shipped off to boot camp to become a federation soldier and uh sadly breaks up with garris who at first is like that's fine that's fine no 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 that's cool that's cool that's understandable only 
Only for the song. The playing in his room. As he's wrapped up in his blanket. In that song. Oh god, why do you have to choose that song? Why do you have to choose that song? And reading in between the lines Because I miss you all the time <laughs> of course months of this happening his sister decides to basically take his sister basically decides to take Garris to the movies and the movie he sees is literally a parody of Samurai Cop which if you've not seen Samurai Cop please for the love of God go do so it is one of those so bad it's good films and the fact that it's got a sequel is kind of freaking hilarious too but again it's one of those funny ass films you gotta go watch it's, it's one of those movies you gotta watch once in your life but but John Shepard, of course, also gets into trouble and is either go in the Marines or go to jail. And mirroring his, uh, you know, half guy and Turing counterpart, he goes to the military. And uh, the slice of life chapter ends, of course, with Saren going off to get revenge. And, uh, yeah! We're now about to go into the first game, ladies and gentlemen. And oh dear lord almighty, it is going to be good. It is going to be good. I mean that. So yeah. Uh, that's Mass Effect Arc, Slice of Life Arc. And in my mind, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I could use some polishing here and there, but in all honesty, there's a lot of good that's actually here. I legit enjoyed this. And I look forward to when we finally get to the games. I fully mean that because Merc has basically set up this universe. He has set this up to basically just all sorts of good stuff. And I am just, I'm excited. I am legitimately excited. I am looking forward to what comes from this. And I patiently wait for the next chapter when we finally get to see the first game and sort of seeing how things have gone for the galaxy leading up to finally the galactic curtain going down uh things looking good and kind of just how things go and i'm not going to say anything more outside of pin comment down below is where you can find the Mass Effect Arcs fanfic, so that way you can read this yourself for first time reading, or get to the Slice of Likes section, so you can actually check it out yourself. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Mass Effect Arcs, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an Airsoft Owl. And uh, if you want to help out the channel, links down below to either our partners, or of course the direct donation links of PayPal and or Cash App. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an Airsoft Owl, and I shall see all you lovely, lovely people in the next video. Till next time. Later!